All right, and uh, we are live. So we have to like kind of chill and pass some time before. What's up, Mario? Before we uh, do this giveaway. So see, we got uh, apparently seven people here, one of which is Mario. Anyone else here? Or is it just bots and Mario? <laughs> What's up, Michael? A giveaway is a $100 Amazon gift card. What's up, Chris? Yo, Gotwire. Hey, if, uh, everyone here, if you haven't subscribed to Gotwire's YouTube channel, make sure you get over there and subscribe that. Really cool vi videos uh, about doing like fiber stuff, working on fiber. It's got at t fiber at home as well. Um, really interesting content, and I think uh, everyone should go subscribe to his channel, by the way. What's up? I assume that's Al or AI. I don't know. I can't tell if it's Al or AI. What's up, Ender? How's it going? I do have the 4090 installed. It is working perfectly fine as far as I can tell. In fact, I'm streaming with it right now. What's up, Mike? I already said hi to Michael. What's up, Baby Gravy? It's my favorite baby gravy have you ever terminated multi-mode fiber no i've never in my life terminated any fiber and i hope that in for the rest of my life i never have to deal with actual fiber that isn't pre-made or done got wire his channel i can drop a link i guess actually i can't because i'm not signed in how am i gonna do this why am i not signed into youtube i don't know he's here it's got wire you can just youtube search got wire I have not tripped any breakers with the 4090. Uh, it's been perfectly fine. Uh, so I don't imagine there's going to be a lot of people here, which is good for you guys. Uh, I think that will make the giveaway much easier. But I did tell, I did mention that in Discord, I will um, see if anyone's there, if they can't make the live stream due to like being blocked at work. So before we do that, I will uh, check with them to see if there's anyone actually there. Because... It'll, it'll make my life easier if it's not. But move on. We'll talk more about the giveaway a little bit later and all that stuff. So uh, funny story with FS. Um, I've been temporarily kicked from any future sponsorships or uh, them working with me. Um, I guess they are going to... Um, redo their marketing or something's up with their marketing department so they can't supposedly they can't work with any more youtube channels or any uh, content creators or influencers whatever you want to call call us so uh <laughs> not gonna be making any more sf videos for a while which i guess is good uh, which kind of sucks because i generally like most of their products at least their networking equipment so far so that's that's sad news there um I don't know, like, what exactly is going on. Uh, their email I, to me, uh, letting me know that, like, we were breaking up um, was extremely nice. They didn't give me anything to believe, like, that it was anything that I had done to cause the breakup. So, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. Like, I feel kind of sad. Like, I thought, I thought, I thought we made some pretty good content from it so far. A lot going on. They've been sponsoring a lot of crazy videos in the background. Um, just stuff I, I guess I wouldn't normally do or wouldn't want to pay for. <laughs> I'll tell them I said that. And uh, so that sucks. Uh, but I think we still have TP Link, which is good. Um, the TP Link videos seem to be very popular, um, mostly because it's like new products, new things coming out. Um, but I don't know if TP Link's going to continue sending products. I got a really strange email from them as well um while i was at work they were like hey uh you know talk about this product on your social media and we'll make sure to send you a review sample and i was like but i didn't see it till well after the wi-fi 7 product launched so there was no opportunity there so i feel like they're about to be like more selective with who they're working with and content creators are working with um but I still owe them a video about this. So this is the uh, EAP 610 Outdoor. Um, 
if you guys haven't seen Raid Owl's video on it, he's already done one. Mine's going to be extremely similar to his. I was going to try and think of do something unique with it, but I don't really think I can uh, do the nature of the product. So um, it's going to be really similar to that. Of course, you know, I'll be doing a teardown because I want to know how many actual antennae are inside. You can always take manufacturer's words for it. Um, so we will be opening that up which will be one slight difference between Raid Owl and myself. And I haven't seen anyone else do anything. Um, chatting is going to be fun with one arm tonight using my phone. Yeah, that's that going to be fun. If you had a small phone like me, like it wouldn't be a problem because you could just one hand it. Have you been able to connect at t Fiber directly to DDM SFP, get rid of their router? Um, so with the BGW320-500, I don't believe... Well, okay, so I think it is possible, but it requires a lot of technical work. But that's not something I'm willing to do because it's a lot of work, and the BGW320 is fast, and I don't have any problems with it, so I don't see the point of bypassing it. But if you have the older model, the BGW215, I think you can bypass that one completely much more easily using the UDM and not using like uh, PFSense or one of the other tools. There's a lot of like how to's out there and how to get around both of them. Uh, but the BGW320 is much harder to get around for some reason. And I just, it's a lot of work and I don't want to put that amount of effort into bypassing it completely. Cause I, I personally am not going to see any benefit from it. I'm already paying, I pay for one gigabit per second and I'm getting like 1.2, 1.3. So I don't, I don't understand or it's not that i don't understand there's just no point for me to bypass it and i'm already using my internal dns so we're not using any of their dns stuff almost every feature on it's turned off so we're getting all the real throughput and i'm pretty sure att has no real chokehold on my connection as is what's up discovery thanks for joining um They're supposedly involved in the container. Yeah, so that was the old way. So the container running on the UDM um, is an older way. I don't know if that way still works. And then you had to have the older BGW215 or 210. I don't think that actually works with the 320. I think with the 320, you have to use PFSense. Why did you... What's up, Bruce? Why did you have surgery? I don't understand. What did you do? Was it working on your house? Um, anyway, so, so I think we're still be working with TP link. Um, a lot of good things there. Really excited about that. Um, hoping to get Wi-Fi seven stuff in. Don't know if it is going to happen. Um, we don't have, or I don't have any Wi-Fi seven devices, so I don't even know how I would even test that equipment, but I don't think it's going to be out anytime soon. It'll probably be like first quarter second quarter of next year um because that technology is still um not readily available i suppose and i don't think you can even buy anything with a wi-fi 7 radio on it uh today anyway gotwire is his youtube channel name i should sign it you know what? i'm just gonna sign it Oh, sorry about that. I got to work on the computer over here. There you go. Direct link. Um, Adam, I guess. I guess is. I guess the channel name isn't Got Wire or let's, it, the handle isn't set up. You need to set up your handle, dude. Um, I'm sure you got a thousand emails from Google about that, as did I, like every freaking day. <laughs> so. Uh, anyhow, um, 
the heck was I talking about? Yeah, so don't have anything that can actually run Wi-Fi 7. If I do get a, um, like, something from TP-Link that is Wi-Fi 7, I think what I'm going to do is buy a, like, PCIe Wi-Fi 7 card and then just install that, like, in my laptop or on a desktop or something so we can do some real tests. Adam the Engineer. Did I send the link to the, the wrong link? No, nah, that's right. Engineered. Um, yeah, and so and as far as working with other brands, um, this is actually a good question for you guys that watch regular. So I got an email from, I don't know, some competitor to, uh, what the hell is that company's name? They make wallets. They're a competitor to that very popular wallet brand that I currently have a wallet for, Ridge Wallet. And I don't, I don't know what they want um, yet. I haven't talked to him because I don't know how I feel about doing a video about wallets per se. Like, yeah, there's some tech in it. We can do, you know, oh, it does RFID blocking, but that's not really like home lab related content. Um, I mean, obviously you guys can just not watch it if you don't want to see it, but I kind of need to, I guess, expand a little bit with what SPX Labs does because um, there's still a lot of projects I want to do around the home lab and those things are like very expensive. And uh, I'm thinking about taking them up or at least talking to them, see what they kind of want to cover and what the possibilities are. But I don't know if I want to dip my toe down there yet because working with brands that aren't home lab related content, you know, it's a slippery slope. And I've kind of always like not wanted to make content selling things to you guys unless like I believed in it, I want to own it or I do own it or would use it, things of that nature. Like everything that I've, I try to show you guys is things I use, do, would buy, would own um, or to that extent. Like I don't want to like just be another like channel that's just selling you crap. Like I don't want to sell you guys things or tell you guys you should buy it. I mean, I, I kind of do want to tell you guys you should buy something when you clearly should, right? But at the same token, like, you know, this, this channel is about exploring technology. I'm not trying to sell you stuff. Like, I kind of have been getting into the review territory, but again, I don't say I do reviews. I try not to do reviews. I don't want to do reviews. You guys can all read spec product page links. Like, you can read all of the PDFs for all that. And so I'm not going to just read off basically a spec sheet to you. Like, I want to, like, do something that's not quite a, a review. Get a manscaped, manscaped sponsorship. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna ever come my way. But I might do what I might do uh, with this company is if they if they're open to is maybe do like a sponsor spot within the video. You know, be like, oh, check out so and so's wallet. Blah 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 blah. Like, I feel like that would be more fair for everyone uh, instead of. Um, just be like, here's some hot garbage. Go, go buy it or whatever, right? So, um, and speaking of which, speaking of hot garbage, so bringing it back to fs.com, you guys should totally click on those links in the comments because I think that might help me not get fired permanently with them. <laughs> They're probably not watching this, so it's safe to say. But just go click on them. You don't have to buy anything. But if you did buy stuff, that would be really awesome. Uh, but you don't have to. Don't feel bad about it. I do not have a product relationship with Ubiquity. I don't think I ever will. Uh, the channel's getting pretty big. I don't really want to be too much bigger than I am. I think 10K is about my maximum. And I'm also kind of uh, in a like hard place. I've talked about quitting YouTube for quite some time, like basically every year for like the last, well, not the last six years. Like basically when I hit year six, I've been thinking about retiring from YouTube. And um, I've kind of set in my mind that I'm going to retire at 10 years. There are so many home lab content creators now and there are, and they're really good. Like we have a lot of home lab content creators and I feel like the home lab community is in a good place. And um, I'm, I don't want to say I'm not needed, but there's just really no point for me to exist within the home lab community anymore. And so I'm going to kind of feel out the next two years, uh, see how that goes. And I don't know. We, I'm Right now, 10 years, I'm looking at just uh, maybe not entirely stopping creating YouTube channels, 
but just like really reducing the amount of content I, I make and just like scale it back to just a video whenever it's ready versus trying to get out one video a week, which I've done pretty well on up until I started playing Tarkov. So it definitely can be hard coming up with uh, content, but I, I don't, I don't feel like I have that issue. My real issue is trying to find uh, time to play video games and do other activities besides create content. Um, the idea is like come to me like I you can't you probably can't see it but on the wall behind me I already I have like a whole laundry list of ideas um, that's up there that I haven't even touched and that has been there for months um, the reason why I haven't done them is usually because laziness things of that nature but I don't know so we I may end up quitting anyway in, in two years don't know we'll see what happens just kind of like playful thoughts so uh, all right, I'm going to check with the Discord, guys, and then we'll get to the part that you guys care about. Let's see. Anyone watching Discord right meow? It's only been 15 minutes. I don't want to keep you guys here for a full hour, so because those of you that are busy, you can just try and win and then leave. <laughs> Probably take like five minutes to explain the, the rules. I guess I'll go ahead and say, if you don't have Amazon in your country, um, don't bother trying to win because there's nothing I can do to help you get an Amazon gift card, uh, a virtual gift card, not a physical one. If you don't have Amazon in your country, don't participate because there's nothing you can do with it. I guess you could use a VPN and try to buy from Amazon, but it's that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know. try to give anyone that who may be monitoring in discord anytime uh do you have to pay a premium for your 4090 i don't what do you mean a premium for my 4090 i paid i bought an msrp from best buy so it was 15.99 i guess the premium i had to pay was buying a brand new case that was big enough to support the 4090 and uh I don't know, a couple more fans. Oh, and the other premium I had to do was buy a vertical mount for my case because uh, obviously the 4090 is really tall, as in it takes up four PCIe lanes, three or four PCIe lanes. And, uh, or no, no, that's the wrong. It's wide. Yeah, wrong, wrong direction. It's wide. So because it's so wide, uh, the um, power cables would touch the glass. So like... Uh, I was like, I'm going to vertical mount this thing because it's going to be too big. I knew that in advance, like well before we learned that the cables melted when they're bent. So, yeah, no, MSRP. I didn't pay the only premium. The only real premium I paid was taxes, like a chump. Like I had to pay sales tax. Like, come on. Dumb. Okay, I don't think anyone's in Discord, so that's good. All right, so. Here we go. All right, so first first rule. If you don't have Amazon, this isn't going to work. Two, um, the winner will get a $100 Amazon gift card via email to their email of their choice. Uh, there's supposedly been problems with virtual gift cards in the past through Amazon. Uh, unfortunately, if... When I send you the gift card, and if it doesn't work for some reason, there's really nothing I can do because, like, Amazon's just going to tell me, well, if they have the code, that code is valid, and they're just going to ask you, or they're going to tell me to ask you to hit up Amazon support. So I'm going to send it to you, and if you have any problems, there's really nothing I can do for you. My only, only thing I can do for you is to tell you to hit up Amazon support, and hopefully they can work out whatever the problem may be. So uh, that's two. Three. All right. The first person, this is how it works. The first person who asks, or who finds what I'm about to ask you guys to find, um, wins. And there's no second place prize this year. I think last year we did a second and third place prize, but this year I kind of spent a lot of money on the 4090. <laughs> so uh, the old, the old bank accounts in the negative right now. <laughs> so I almost didn't do a giveaway this year because I don't have 
uh, any funds to do it. So I'm going to take it out of my own pocket to do this giveaway. Uh, but that's okay. It'll it'll come back eventually. Um, shoot, that was three, I guess. Yeah, so first one to find it wins. So there's no second place, only first place. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so... Um, So, the winner, make sure you email my email address, info at spxlabs.com. Uh, so, yeah. This is how we're going to do it, because I can't trust everyone out there. So, I'm going I'm to be watching my email. The first email I get to for the person who finds what I'm asking you guys to find. Um... Email that email address. First person to do it with the, with the correct information wins. All other emails will be an automatic loss. Now, we do it through chat, but we can't do it through chat because you guys, some of you guys are, are pretty crafty. Does that make sense? Everyone understand? I'll wait for your response. Oh, I got to save up money for another G4 Pro because I don't know if you guys, if everyone watched the video, but, you know, put a ransom cable, but I don't have a camera there. So I got to save up some money for this G4 Pro. That's what I'm going to buy next. Good here. Good here. All right. Uh, I think we're missing Michael. What's up, Cyberwolf? Dude, you almost missed it, man. Unify sucks. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Unify sucks. <laughs> uh, report phishing attempt. <laughs> uh, report phishing attempt. <laughs> nice job, Jason. <laughs> you didn't come for this, though? Oh, okay, well, that's fine. All right, Cyber. I'm gonna repeat the. I'm gonna repeat the rules real quick because you came. I I heard that you wanted to come here for this. All right. If you're outside of the, if your country doesn't have Amazon, don't participate because there's nothing I can do to help you. Uh, if I send you an Amazon gift card and something is wrong with the gift card, you'll have to contact Amazon support because there's really nothing I can do from you do for you on my end. Um, I don't remember the rest of the rules. Oh yeah, first person to email me wins. The email is info at spxlabs.com. Uh, I guess I could post that again. There, that's the email address. All right. And then Cyber, when you think you're ready, let me know. And then we're just, we're gonna kick it off. Everyone else is ready, so everyone's waiting on you. No, I'm not waiting for you, Jason. We're, the only person I'm waiting for is, is Cyber. All right, here we go. Okay. In a YouTube video. So that's your first clue. In a YouTube video, something changed in the background. So the first person to show me or to send me an email with the video title of this image in the background wins. And it has to be this one. And it has to be the first video that it changed. Oh, man, there's so much glare. This is the Charisma one from Fallout 4.
So good luck. Not the mini nuke. Is that the video? I don't think that's the video. I meant the review. Nope, that's not the video, Eric. Try again. The first video with this picture, with this one. All right, Discovery, let's see if this is it. Let's see. Oh, I think we got our winner, guys. I just got to do a double check for my sanity's sake. I'm pretty sure that's the one, but <laughs> I have to double check because I don't actually remember. <laughs> I hate it when I have to watch ads on my own channel. <laughs> you're like, you're like, why are you prepared for this? I was supposed to prepare for this today, but then kind of forgot. You can keep submitting in the meantime while I double check because I forgot to double check before. Wow, is it really that soon? I didn't make as many videos as I thought I did. Okay, you guys can stop sending it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Discovery, Discovery won like hella. Man, Mario, you were like one second behind. Mario, you were like one second behind. He is wired. All right, so uh, I will email you. I guess I can. I don't know. I didn't actually check your result because it came in afterwards. Yeah, you're right. No, wait, no, you were wrong. Wait, what? Am I wrong? Am I the one that's wrong? Oh my gosh. Discovery. Oh my gosh. Did you just... <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not even close. No, I no. Discovery won. Okay, okay. We're good. Discovery won. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let me. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I guess I can send you. I'll send you an email in a minute. I don't. I don't feel like doing it right now because I got to mess up my whole setup. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So next, next thing, next thing. All right. So we're also, I like I mentioned a minute ago. I I kind of want to get this G4 Pro. What was the answer? The answer I will link right now. Honestly, I thought I had a video before that, but now I can't find it. So Honestly, I thought I had a video before that, but now I can't find it. So I could have swore I had a video before that, but I don't. And that's why I was double checking cuz I was like, "Wait a minute. 
I changed it earlier than that. Man, so I just realized <laughs> there's someone was probably trying to find the answer really quickly. <laughs> Freaking ad block. They had like one of those like 10 unskippable ads. Oh, man. I, that didn't happen to anybody, right? Because that would have been pretty funny. All right. So I want to buy another one of these cameras. Also upcoming stuff so you guys may remember um uh, see Drew's house. you guys may remember this video um where i went to julie's house to go install some equipment for her uh she's been robbed twice i think we lost a bunch of equipment we got some equipment back after reporting the thief to the police I don't know if that video is on YouTube anymore. It may be hidden, but I made that video about it. Um, so we got we got back some of the equipment, not all of it. Um, well, we're finally going to start working on part two. Now, I don't have a definitive date of when part two will begin, but she, her contractors have gotten back to work. Um, they've continued doing a lot of things. We're just waiting for power now. So once we get power i can finally go back in there and uh keep working on this like network closet oh that's a perfect still um literally i haven't that's been how old is this video what's the date on this thing 10 months ago it's been 10 months since i've been over there uh well not that's not true because i've gone over there a couple times to look at what equipment was stolen uh and also review some camera footage but I still have a shelf full of things that she's bought ten over 10 months ago, just sitting here not doing anything because I can't go over there and finish the install because we don't have power um, everywhere. So like that room that I'm in, we're actually using an extension cable to bring power from a different part of the house to actually even make that video. Like to get this light working that's in there in the background, there's, there's an extension cord and a... Uh, um wow what are those switches called one of those pdus that's not what they're called but whatever we have one of those back there but yeah so we're finally gonna wrap up this video and i'm excited for that um that's gonna be i think that's gonna be interesting because i think part two is just gonna be a complete we're gonna build the server rack install all of the rack equipment get everything um plugged in and managed i don't think i'm gonna do a part three for that um the only way we'll do part three is if she wants to come back and have me like install some sensors or something, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like, you know, here's a bunch of cameras. Uh, here's run some more cable. Here's cutting some cable. And then I don't know. That's it, I guess. So, so funny enough, like everyone I've worked with so far, I make them actually pay somebody else to wire their homes. Uh, one, because I'm not an actual business um, or for, like I don't not formally recognize. So there's no insurance there. And even though it's low voltage and there's pretty much no chance of fire, I'm not taking that risk uh, to go to people's houses and then like have wiring issues. So I make everyone wire their own houses um, ahead of time. I don't know who Timmy Toucans is. I don't watch a lot of YouTube, but it's not that random. Feel free to interrupt at any time with any questions or stuff. But anyway, so yeah, like I make everyone pre-wire their houses. Now there's one guy who was like, hey, I saw your YouTube channel. You you live in Huntsville. Come wire my house, please. Come wire my house. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I was like, I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to get in crawl spaces. I don't want to like crawl through tiny attics and run wire. Like my house, it's easy because like the roofs are ginormous. Um, oh, this is perfect. It's already recommended. Like there is so much room. I can stand straight up. And aside from the corners, like, like, right. Oh, well, I skipped it. Skipped too far, too far. Like in this part right here, like I can stand straight up in the attic. Like there's plenty of height for me and I don't really have to crawl around. Yeah, I have to crawl around under a lot of the, um, let's see, where is, 
an attic shot. Yeah, so like I have to crawl underneath like the ductwork and stuff, but that's not like bad. It's not like actually crawling. It's more like squatting and and uh, tipping or whatever. And even like the edges of my house aren't really that bad. Yeah, I kind of complain about it because I'm worried about hitting my head on screws and stuff, but it's honestly not that bad. Um, so that's why like I don't run cable in anyone anyone else's house. Timmy two cans. All right, let's check out his Timmy two cans guy. Yeah, it kind of looks like me too. Dang, he started making videos a year ago and has two hundred and fifty-four thousand subscribers already. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's definitely a lawsuit waiting to happen if something does go wrong. And plus, like, if it's for people I don't know and I'm wiring their houses, they could easily just be like, oh, you know, lightning struck my house. Insurance company doesn't want to cover it because um, because I had you install it who's not licensed or whatever. And, uh, and now I'm suing you for damages to my equipment or whatever, right? Like I'm, I'm not doing that. So if they run, if they run, free run cable or whatever, um, that's fine. Like I'll go in there and I'll hook up their cameras. I'll go hook up their equipment and set up their VLANs and subnets and all that stuff, and give them like a huge list of things to buy. But yeah, I could start an LLC to cover that. Um, and I have thought about it, but there's just I don't really do it very often like most of the time people are just like hey what do i buy what what should i get and i'm just like you know here's a huge list of products for tp link and if, i'm sorry with ubiquity and they're like oh wow that's really expensive and i was like yeah but it's one ecosystem it works it's fine like it's whatever but usually usually ubiquity turns everyone off because it's very expensive for home and then and then everyone else wants tp link because it's not as expensive and they just want to piecemeal their, their stuff equipment together anyway. Like uh, we did the video with Luis. He wanted uh, Eufy cameras. Well, that's actually not that he wanted. Um, that was during the shortages. So he couldn't even get a Ubiquity camera if he wanted to. So he ended up going with Eufy or whatever. Even though I told him just to wait for Ubiquity cameras. And then, you know, we really wanted to get Ubiquity gear. But that was too expensive. So we went TP-Link. And TP-Link's okay they're they're still their amata software has a lot of growing to do before it's you know catches up to ubiquity ubiquity software is obviously still growing you know there's like even their vpn stuff isn't really implemented correctly like when they did WireGuard, right like that wasn't you know perfect right off the bat um chris for you i will help you wire your house because i know you in real life and so it's not a problem. Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure you're not going to sue me. And <laughs> so it's fine. Like, I'll help you, but I'm not getting the attic. Or maybe I will a little bit. It depends on how bad it is. So, yeah, I'll, I'll help you out a little bit. Oh, yeah. And if I got hurt, that'd be even worse because who do I sue, right? Yeah. And, and like, people, like, I like Cisco. Cisco is like great in the enterprise. Like it's weird going to an enterprise or like high level business and them not having Cisco. Um, like you know what else would you expect, right? You like you're there, like it's a Cisco product. Like that's what you should have. I feel like like Cisco is like the default. Just buy it for your enterprise and call it a day. Now, obviously, Cisco is very expensive, especially with licensing and stuff. So I understand why a lot of businesses don't do it. But every business I've ever been to, they've, they've just been like, we forked over the money for for Cisco. So this is what we're doing. Um, I really want to do a business install with all Ubiquity, but everyone I've talked to is like, oh, we're just going to get Cisco instead. And it's like, okay, then I don't know why you asked me. So <laughs> why are you asking me if you're just going to go to Cisco? I'm not going to do a Cisco install. I suck at command line stuff. A lot of people are moving away because of their smart. There, a lot of people are moving away from Cisco. 
because of SmartNet? Is SmartNet a Cisco product? Grandstream phones are amazing. I'm confused. SmartNet total care. Manage risk, fist problems, operate for senior sponsor with smart support. So why are people moving away from Cisco because of this? I'm not familiar with this. What's the problem with it? Is it force? PBX. Oh, uh, and also, I think everyone here has already subscribed to Jason, Jason Lab's channel. I'm pretty sure everyone here is. Uh, so make sure everyone runs over to Jason's YouTube channel, Jason's Lab, and subscribe to that. I can't believe I forgot to mention you. I feel like everyone's left already, though. Okay, so because the... Because the support is expensive on the equipment, they're leaving Cisco in favor of other brands. That's that's what I'm picking up and that you're putting down. I didn't even know they had support. <laughs> I, I've never heard of anyone calling Cisco for support anymore or ever. This, is this too dark? We can get it off HDR and get it on non-HDR so it's brighter. I feel like HDR is really dark for you guys. I don't... I mean, I can't help it. I have an HDR monitor, so. Now I've got to look up to my non-HDR display. So, oh yeah, and FS is supposed to be sending me a camera as well. Because, like, you know, we agreed that, like, I was going to make a, a video using their NVR. As well as, where is this thing? Networking. So they sent me that NVR. I, I, I got to move it down. Looking up like that sucks. Um, and they're supposed to be sending me one of these cameras. I don't remember which one it is now. I think it might be this one. Yeah, I think it might be this one. And they're like, oh, we sent it. And it's like, but it's been like four weeks. <laughs> like, did you or did you not? And then they broke up with me. So I don't know if like... <laughs> They actually sent it or not. I feel like I'm not going to get that in the mail. So no more FS content. I would love to be, do a PTZ camera. I was going to ask them for one of these, but then they broke up with me. So I can't do I can't do it now. I would love I would genuinely love to have one of these installed at the house. I'd put it in my front yard, too. This one would be cool just because it's expensive. But I'm pretty sure they're not. I'm pretty sure we're done. I'm I'm about a thousand sure FS and I are done. You get to play music and mess with thieves. The wife asked if I was watching a training video. You, you should tell her yes, so you can stay here for the rest of the stream. Which I don't know how long the stream's gonna be. Like I, I might just go for an hour. I kind of want to go play God of War. What PTZ camera do you have in the front of your house? Oh yeah, what? Well, so I have the G4 doorbell. I could talk through that technically. Oh yeah. So I have the G4 doorbell. I really I really want one of these. Uh of course Ubiquitous is too expensive. So on industries. Let's see here. Fuck. So these cameras are dope, but um, this company won't respond to my emails, so I guess that means no. And these these cameras are not rebranded either. I don't know who ma makes these. I mean, some of their cameras are rebrands of Dawa, 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 however you say it. But they also have some pretty sweet cameras where, 
like so here's the camera body and then you have to buy a lens um and put over and put that lens over this Let's see if they have an example learn more no so they don't show it for some reason but yeah there's like a big lens that you can put over this and get like and it um it plugs into the side here so it can actually like do mechanical zoom and stuff which is legit but yeah i'm pretty sure pretty sure this company is just gonna ignore me they're like what you what do you want no we're not gonna send this to you you can buy one like everybody else <laughs> like uh real link why not real link i don't i don't have a problem what's up jay dirt i don't have a problem with real link um or ufi i just i i bought into ubiquity forever ago and i'm just gonna stick with ubiquity uh until they do something that is just absolutely um apprehensible i i thought about at least, like maybe mixing some cameras uh, into the home lab but i don't think i or into my core network i shouldn't say home lab because my core network is different than what spx labs does so yes there's a little bleed over yes i do cover some ubiquity products in my core network but typically my core network i don't play with um often or try to make too many changes often because i want that to be its own thing so i probably won't mess with that too much now spx labs network which is all tp link stuff yeah, like I'll mix and match and do whatever on there. So when I generally when I make videos about other cameras or equipment, I'm always using TP Link on the side. And yeah, it does make sense to stay within their ecosystem. It's easy. Yeah, like I'm not trying to have like 15 apps on my phone. I just want one app to, or I guess technically two, but whatever. I just want one app to look at. I'm not trying to look at like 15 different apps. I have another phone. So I have another phone here that I also use for SPX Labs, like. You know when i need to download an app for other brands or whatever um but my personal phone nah it ain't happening um and these people so they have their own custom software called valorous i don't know what this is valorous <laughs> i don't know how to say that um they have their own software which is cool uh, it's you know hosted through web ui but i think it's only hostable on windows which kind of sucks and they also sell hardware too and this is like custom hardware not like you know th this is a rebranded dell for instance right this looks like it might be a rebranded hp that's hp I don't I don't know who I don't know who makes this, but this is obviously like a rebranded Lenovo or Dell product. Um, OK, this is Dell. Yeah, this is Dell. That's Dell. That's Dell. I don't know who makes this. So they re they do rebrand those, but the hardware you get is actually like dedicated for those cameras. So these are going to be like Intel. Let's see if we can actually find out. App servers, raid recording, server recording. So we're going to let's see what their actual NVRs are. Yeah, so so are these uh, rack mount ones? Is that HP? Because that doesn't look like any Dell product I've ever seen. <laughs> Belarus. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, that would be that would be kind of scary considering they're like our GSA. What do they say they are? GSA. Um. So government. I don't know. They they meet all sorts of accreditations for selling stuff to the government so if it was like some weird belarus <laughs> thing like some russian affiliation that would be terrible i think they get vetted for this stuff disa yeah regulatory instead of disa in daa so they're they're following the u.s regulations uh as you guys know the u.s like recently cracked down on um all subsidiaries for like hick vision no, I'm sorry, Hike Vision and whatever. Those are Dells. Okay. I've never seen a Dell that looks like that, but it's also been a while. Uh so let's see what see if they put any hardware in here, or if we can see what hardware they put in here. Okay, we're gonna look at the data sheet. Hmm. 
They're elite in VRs. All right, so comes with Microsoft Windows 10 Enterprise Internet of Things Edition. A Core i3 10th Gen, okay, not terrible, or a i7 10th Gen. So I wonder if these Xeons, no, because these Xeons wouldn't have an iGPU. So I wonder what they're doing here, because they're clearly using QuickSync. Ew, Generation 8? That would be terrible. Okay, it says right here. So they're using a Quadro P620. That's a good... The Quadro uh, P620 is good for... For encoding. Um, well, I just like third parties can create their own variant of servers. Yeah, that's true. It happens a lot. But I don't. But the thing I like most is that you know they're not using rebranded cameras, at least as far as I can tell, from like popular brands or the main brands like Dawa and Hikvision. Uh, did you hear about the Push Whoosh mobile app the CDC and Army or U.S. Army was using? It's in front of Russia. Yeah, I heard about it, but I don't. I don't know what Push Whoosh is. It sounds like something I wouldn't download. That's. Not surprising at all, I guess, that they were using that. Cyber says, kind of like a shared patent of Coca-Cola. You find a knock. Yeah. It doesn't say ninth gen. Oh, wait, ninth gen, eight gigs. Yeah, you're right. I can't read. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's not my fault I can't read. But anyway, these specs aren't bad. And it's it's basically a Dell, so you pretty much know exactly what you're gonna get if you've ever bought a Dell system before. I like the small footprint. I like I like this like buying something like this more than so. Let's see, um, VMS network network hardware. Oh, they sell switches now. They used to not sell switches. This is that's a Netgear switch, I think. That's a Dell monitor. The heck is all this stuff? Wow, they've really expanded. They have media converters. Who knows who makes these media converters? Not them, that's for sure. Oh, whatever. So, all right. So, just to use FS as an example, because we're already here. So, they're NVRs. Some of them are definitely... Where the heck is this? Where is it? NVR. Video recorders. Okay, so... I think we can all agree that that is the same. No, I don't want archives. Why are you taking me to archives? Okay, that's pretty close. These these are pretty close to each other. Okay, that's pretty close. These these are pretty close. All right, bam. Side picture. Side picture. Those are close, not quite. There we go. I can't blow this picture up. So these two NVRs are clearly the same. Some very, very minor differences. USB on this side, USB on this side. Uh, did, did it say Netgear on it? I didn't even notice. I just looked at the color. Wait, $8,000 for a... What are you talking about? Did I miss something? Did they say the prices on there? I wasn't even paying attention.
I don't see the prices. I don't. I don't know what I mean. Eight thousand seven hundred dollars for a server, man. I will take a full stock. Anyway, so clearly just a rebrand, which is fine. But what sucks about it is. Like, they don't really tell you, they tell you, okay, look, this thing will do eight cameras up to 4K resolution, right? And then um, they'll say, um, but you can only play back two channels at 30 frames at the same time. See you later, Chris. Thanks for coming to hang out. Sorry, sorry you didn't win. Uh, but you can only play two, two videos live at 4k 30 fps at the same time but but they don't tell you anything about like what kind of I, i'll say cpu but they don't tell you anything about the hardware that's actually in here so you don't really know what you're getting like it could be anything and um that kind of that kind of sucks so when looking at you know a company like Vi vicon like it's cool like you know exactly what you're gonna get well, maybe not exactly, but, you know, you have a pretty good idea, you know, if I get this small form factor, I'm going to get an i3. If I get the mid-tower, I'm getting an i7. And so that's cool. Um, I'm sure some, they even tell you the BTUs. Wow, I've never seen that before. So I'd love to, country of origin, Mexico too. I'd love to get this, and so we can, like, do a video about it, but it's never going to happen. Channel's too small. Nobody's heard of heard of me. Uh, so stuff like this never happened. So we're we're unfortunately gonna have to stick with like FS until like man I what I don't I'm not gonna buy one of their cameras though because I don't want to like I'm not gonna be replacing their cameras with mine. I do want to do reviews of their stuff or well I said review. I do want to check out their stuff and see what it like can do, but at the same time, I don't want to like buy anything I'm not going to use full time. If that makes sense. Yeah, going by the um, FPS is usually a safe bet. These look like rebranded Dawa. Cameras. I wish they would show the prices on these. That would be awesome. They're clearly expensive if they don't show you the price. Yeah, so they're like NDA, GSA, TA compliant. So probably fine. They do H.265 encoding. These are like probably really sweet cameras. But whatever. Yeah, probably the same price range. I'd be. I bet this camera right here, the body alone of this is probably like 400 bucks. And then the lens that gets attached to this. I don't know why they don't have it on their website. Or I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where. And then the lens that you can put on here is probably like another two, three hundred dollars. At least for a mechanical one that like actually moves when you when you zoom in on their software. Products. Maybe it's under network hardware. No, it's just the switches and stuff. See what their demo. I wonder if this is. I gotta log in to. Oh, yeah, this is their software. Oh, username demo. It'd be help if I could read. Demo one two three four. <laughs> okay so yeah 
Uh, that's not cool. So anything that requires a like specific player is garbage. Yeah, I'm not installing that. That's stupid. So we can't even we can't even look at anything because we don't have their plugin. That's so dumb. Like and this this actually looks like pretty decent software. I don't know what I just clicked. Well, I don't know what that does. Kind of wish I was on a virtual machine right now. Is there not like an admin page? Click to download, demo, future settings. Okay, probably, I mean, I probably don't want to give someone admin rights. Yeah, Blue Iris. So their cameras with Blue Iris would probably work legit. Because their cameras do support like S SFTP or whatever the hell. S, S whatever it is. RTSSP, RTSP, yeah, RTSP and all that jazz. Yeah, that's the one. You told me this last time and I still forgot. <laughs> but anyway, this is like actually pretty decent software. It's just stupid that they make you have a plugin. Like pre-made templates, always fun. Windows Sandbox. I'll do that another day. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, this is just my gaming computer. I don't really have any script. All right, we're going to do it. Just my gaming computer. I have nothing to lose. I'm sure it's fine. Their uh, stuff is a little slow, so I don't think I'm going to... What time is it? It's already 9.02, so I've kind of gone over the amount of time I wanted to allot for this. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this next time. Just cancel for now. All right, so I owe Discovery an email, so I'll do that here shortly. Um, if... Yeah, he'll be fine. It's only 702 for you. It's 902 for me and I want to go play God of War. So uh that's that's the real problem here. Anyway guys, I really appreciate all of you for joining. All apparently 25 of you. Cyberwolf, thank you so much. Jason, thank you so much. I'm pretty sure Mario's gone. Everyone else is gone. Really appreciate you guys being here and sticking out with or yeah, with me through the whole stream. Um it really does mean a lot to me personally. So again, I appreciate that. Uh, for the rest of you who are just joining now, go sign or go subscribe to Jason's Labs YouTube channel. Go subscribe to Adam's YouTube channel. That's Got Wire. Uh, I guess he could post. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I lost it. Anyway, go subscribe to those two YouTube channels. Go check out them out. They're really cool stuff. And I will see all of you. I, I don't know. I think I have a video coming out Monday. Maybe I'm. Not gonna make any promises, but I gotta get a video out before Thanksgiving. So, peace. Damn right you did. I don't know how to stop my stream. Yes, I wanna stop.